Hey, welcome back, friends. Uh, in the second part of uh, fuzzy logic controller example based on Mandani approach, I welcome you all. Um, in the previous video, we have discussed two specific steps of, um, of finding out the specific crisp output on the basis of Mandani approach. And the first step was to uh, find out all the input linguistic variables, then find out all the linguistic output variables, and then finally find out specifically uh, the membership function, membership value of all the input and output variables accordingly. So that we have already done in step one and two. Now, in step three, what we are going to do, the step three is basically form a rule base. So how we are forming a rule base. So we have the linguistic variable for dirt that was small dirt, medium, medium dirt and high dirt. And same for grease, it is small grease, medium grease and high grease. Okay. Accordingly, what we are doing, we are simply finding out or we are simply mapping when dirt is small and grease is small, what should be the time? Okay, and that we are basically deciding and forming a rule accordingly. So we are simply thinking that is if dirt is small and grease is small, then the time should be very short. Again, when dirt is small, but grease is higher, medium, then the time should be medium. And same for high grease, it should be large. Right. And accordingly, if dirt is medium, then it is large. If dirt is high and grease is high, it should be very large. So accordingly, we have create a rule base. So if dirt is small and grease is small, then wash time is very small and so on. Right. After forming this rule base, what we have to do is we have to evaluate the rule, the rules that we have created. So suppose dirt is 60 percent in this case. And grease is 70 percent because we are not specifying we are simply saying it is high or it is medium or low so if we are assuming that it is 60 percent and grease is 70 percent then how many rules are there that we have created in step through which are following this means which particular uh, rules are following they are coming under the category of 60 and 70. so let's see at step two uh, in case of dirt what we are seeing in this specific case, X is in between 50 and 100, that is 60 and 70 is following here. And in this case, again, X is between 50 and 100, so 60 and 70 percent is following here. So in that case, the value is X minus 50 by 50. And in this case, it is 100 minus X by 50. So there are two specific rules which are following when the dirt is in between 60 and 70. Same for Greece. We are seeing there are these two rules, 100 minus y by 50 and y minus 50 by 50, which are following uh, the specific rule when the grease value is in between 60 and 70 percent, right? Basically, 70 percent, you can say. Okay, now we will replace. We have take the formula that 100 minus x by 50 and x minus 50 by 50 for dirt and 100 minus y by 50 and y minus 50 by 50 for grease. And now we will replace the value of x that is 60 percent for x, 70 for y. So we will place it over here and we are getting these specific output 4 by 5, 1 by 5, 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 for these, right? And then we will take them uh, as a membership value and then use some partition product of over them and then we will create rules accordingly. So we have uh, medium dirt for X and we have medium grease for Y. Same we have high dirt for X and then we have high grease for Y. So medium dirt with high grease, medium dirt with medium grease high dirt with medium grease and high dirt with high grease these are the specific rules that will be formed in step four so we have evaluated the rule accordingly and we are simply placing them into this is specific rule one we have created four rules now rule one rule two rule three and rule four and we are placing their values accordingly that for medium dirt it is four by five for medium grease it is three three oblique five that we have already calculated in last step okay then, because the output that we are getting right now is fuzzy, not crisp. And what we need is we need a crisp output. We have to give the specific uh, time, uh, how much time machine will take for any specific inputs that is being provided to it. So what we are doing, we are simply using the mean max method of defuzzification. Okay, there are various method of defuzzification out of the mean max method is one of them. So what we do with mean max method is we are calculating the minimum of these two first. Minimum is three oblique five. Minimum of these two is two oblique five. Minimum of these two is one oblique five and minimum of these two is one oblique five. So we have got all the four values for specific rules. And then 
according to that rule we will find the maximum out of them 3 by 5 2 by 5 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 that is 3 by 5 is maximum of them and 3 by 5 represents medium dirt and medium grease that you are seeing over here okay this is medium dirt medium grease for 3 by 5 so we have got that accordingly according to 60 percent and 70 percent if uh, dirt and grease are there then in that case the time basically that it will take is medium dirt and medium grease okay so we have to check in step three now okay, if dirt is medium and grease is medium then what should be the wash time because we have to calculate the wash time in this case okay so if dirt is medium and grease is medium then in that case wash time should be what this is medium and this is medium in that case wash time will be medium right so what we have calculated that the wash time is medium again we will find the membership value of that one in step two okay for that specific thing when the dirt is when the uh, wash time is medium so membership value of medium of z okay that is z minus 10 by 15 and 40 minus z by 15 there are two specific values that is being given in step two right so what we have got z minus 10 by 15 and 40 minus z by 15 okay when we will calculate them we will see that z minus 10 by 15 according to us is 3 by 5 okay and z 40 minus z by 15 is again 3 by 5 that we have calculated when medium dirt and medium grease then its value will be according to min max it is 3.5 sorry right so now z will be 19 according to this after calculating this specific value and here z will be 31 and when we, when we will find out the mean of these two values, we will get 25 minutes. So this is our crisp output, which is saying that uh, the time taken by the washing machine, if dirt is 60% and grease is 70% is 25 minutes. And this is the crisp output that this specific uh, formula is giving to us. So guys, these are specific five steps that we have to take for uh, creating basically uh, you can say an inference engine for fuzzy logic so that we could get some specific crisp output so we are designing a controller and we are giving some crisp output accordingly i hope you understood all the parts if you have any queries and doubt you can make it in the comment section till then please like and subscribe thank you very much